Now, welcome back to the workshop dojo. I have a little piece of festal kit, okay? Well, it's not really festal, but it is festal. Anyway, um, it's the festal pencil. Yep, I know, I was surprised as well. I didn't know that festal made pencils, but obviously they do. Or rather, Pika, which is the the company that, that makes it here has made one for Festool or for the, the Festool haters out there. Picker made it and Festool just put their name on it. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I may have to agree with you on this one, but uh, um, let's have a look at this. So, okay, let's cut to the chase here. Now, <clears throat> now to be honest with you, um, the only thing that really makes this a Festool pencil is the color, okay? Pika basically makes these themselves and you can buy them. So, I mean, I'm pretty much, I, th I, th I think they're almost probably the same price. So, I mean, really, it just really depends whether or not you want that, 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 that as they like to say, that Kool-Aid green Festool color or whether you just want a regular pencil. It really doesn't matter. They are really going to do the same. So, is it so? Generally speaking, as we're talking about this, this the fe the Festool pencil, we're probably going to be generally talking about these pencils in general. Okay. Now, first of all, when I said I'm going to buy a Festool pencil to a couple of my friends, they said, "Are you nuts? You're going to buy a Festool pencil." A pencil is a pencil is a pencil. What are you doing? Have you lost your freaking mind? Uh, you are truly a Festool fanboy. This is crazy. What are you up to? And they may have been right, but that's another story. Now, <clears throat> this, okay, when I bought it, I thought to myself, ah, will I use it? Am I just wasting money? Okay, wasting time. But you know, the truth is, is that yes. Now the thing about a pencil is that there's only two places you can put it. You can put it down somewhere, okay? And I have lost count the amount of times that I've put a pencil down and it's rolled off somewhere and I can't find it. <clears throat> or even worse, it's rolled off onto the floor and I've stepped on it. I've done that many, many times. Of course, when it rolls onto the floor, you know what happens? It drops onto the floor and the lead inside the pencil actually fractures. So when you go to sharpen it, it just keeps on dropping out the end of the pencil tip. So, or you can put it behind your ear. And again, you know, you're putting on, on um, ear safety, safety protectors, you're putting on safety goggles, what happens is the pencil just keeps on dropping out and keeps on dropping onto the floor. So next best thing is this nice little, little picker, or in this case, the Festool. It, look, it's lovely. Look, it just, there's like a little clip there and that clip can just slot into your pocket. It can slot into your, if you've got like a top brace thing, it can slot into there. Um, and it's just, you, you just, you just know that it's there and it's just really, really handy. Um, the, se the second thing is, is that there's actually a sharpener at the tip. You can take it out, you can just basically sharpen your point. Again, okay, how many of you know where your pencil sharpener is? I don't, it's somewhere, someone's picked it up at some point and they've sharpened something and they've just thrown it down. I have no idea where my pencil sharpener is, but you know what? I do know where this sharpener is. It's at the end of the case. So, I mean, once again, I can't really grumble with it, okay? And of course, you can get replacement leads, okay? You just work out. And I think there's different hardnesses, but I really, really like this. I really, really do. I mean, is it, is it just a normal pencil? Yes, it is. I mean, it's, kind, it's, it's more for marking up, okay? I wouldn't say that this is the pencil that you should use for accuracy in terms of you're trying to, well, well it depends what level here that we're talking about. If we're talking about some cabinetry, 
<coughs> need to say that, uh -huh, then absolutely no, no. This isn't the pencil for you. If you're, if you're constructing something that's a bit larger, of course you can use this because really you're not really talking millimeter accuracy that you're looking for. It just generally has to be more or less in the right place. And again, um, uh, I just think that it's just, it's, it, it is just a nice, nice little pencil. It's, it's not, the, 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 the most, powerful thing about this is that it's always there and you know where it is and you can just that's it you can just kind of leave it somewhere and you always know where it is the downside of it is of course yeah it's a little bit expensive which means that if you if you put it down someone's going to take it especially if you're on a site when there's a lot of different people so that is the downside but I mean you know I mean I can't grumble I mean it is very nice and of course you know I love this green Kool-Aid color, you know that. You know I'm a Festool fanboy. I admit it, okay? I'm a Festool fanboy. Anyway, I hope that was interesting. I shall see you on the next Workshop Dojo.